I'd like to take the opportunity to demonstrate the termination of our LMR 400 cable with our EZ400 NMHS X. All our X-Series connectors are, are, have the exact same strip dimensions and run to the cable the exact same way. First thing what you want to do is you get a nice clean cut on the cable. This is our CCT03 cutting tool. Very easy to use, no special technique involved. Spring loaded, get a couple inches from the end of the cable, spring loaded, locks onto the cable. Take your finger, place it through the hole in the end of the, end of the handle, and just spin it around the cable. What it's done, and very quickly and easily, we'll cut the cable nice and squarely uh, without crushing the cable, leaving the cable nice and round. At this point, I'm gonna take a drop of the silicone lubricant that we supply, just a, just a little bit. You take a WSB 400 strain relief boot, just get it started, and slide it back onto the uh, cable just a little bit. Take a crimp ferrule, slide it onto the cable, Take the CST-400 prep tool. Make sure there's nothing in side one. Side one is labeled. Pop it onto the cable until it stops. Start to push down this thumb switch and spin it at the same time. And once that bottoms out, make an extra spin or two. Now, leave it to press and pull it. it. Takes that whole pellet right off the cable. You flip it around to side two. There's a deburr tool built in. You line the deburr tool up on the center connector, maybe half a dozen back and forth, take any burrs off. Now you look at side two, there's a clamp and crimp option. Make sure it's set for crimp. Place it onto the cable and just spin the uh, tool around the cable until it spins freely, like so. You're all set to go, you prep the cable. You take your easy connector, it's a gold-plated beryllium copper spring finger. Very common, probably three quarters of connectors we sell now, an easy style. Just fan the braid wires back a little bit. Get the connector started. It's a nice snug fit on the cable. Push it and turn it. And you'll, you'll feel those four fingers on the pin right up on the center conductor. Now take the ferrule, bring it forward, and those braid wires will end up right where you want them to be, right at the very back of the body of the connector. No braid trimming required. Now you take a 429 hex, you can use our CST 300 400 tool. And you want to crimp it right at the very back of the body, like so. You don't want to crimp it a second time. If you do that, you crush the jacket, you crush the core, change the impedance. So just once. This lubricant dries so quickly, you put another drop on there. Now you probably can't see it in the video, but there's ribs in the back of the connector and there's ribs molded into the back of the boot. These ribs will snap onto these ribs. You may even hear it snap into place. Creates a nice strain relief, and this also happens to be rated to IP67. We have over 50 connectors now for LMR400 that are X-Series, all work with the tool, all work with this boot. Thank you.